Hi, I'm Adam Vickerstaff. This is um, 3D object generation for Unreal 5. I've developed a little process um, based around making high polygon objects for Unreal 5. Um, what I've devised here is, um, as you see here, I, I've built the basic shape in ZBrush, uh, enough to, as you'd normally would now make it a low poly. This is really for intermediate, so you know if you don't know how to do that, I have some other videos to check through for baking things like that. Uh, but you make it low poly and all that kind of stuff. But for this, all I've done is exported, in the end, the lowest subdivision, or what I feel is acceptable to run uh, in Maya and Substance Painter. I believe Substance Painter you can manage about 22 million, roughly, uh, at the most. Um, Maya, I, I wouldn't like to speculate, I guess it depends on the PC. But I like to keep it in the thousands, really, for the, rather than the millions. As you can see here, the wood is um, quite he de high detail mesh. Uh, whereas the metal parts are going to be even later. I've kept them quite low poly, so I can easily rig them. If uh, there's too too many polys, which would, would be unfeasible. Uh, so it's good to know that characters in Unreal 5 will be decent density, but uh, old method, really. Whereas, uh, at the moment, Whereas uh, any static meshes you'd go as high detail as really you want, to be honest with you. I believe one of the statues in Unreal 5 was 35 million, 33 million, something like that. So with this case, I've, I've kept it roughly to the thousands just for baking um, and texturing. But this is how we're going with the process. We're building one version of it like this. And then we're going to bake to this version, which we've also... Due to, I've unwrapped it in ZBrush, but also sorted out the UVs a bit better in, in Maya later. Um, materials that I've applied, then it's ready for baking. This is a very quick, I have a video on um, Mum's Head Baking anyway, so you can refer to that if you need. The main difference is coming up now between normal, again, we're, we're, we're texturing in high detail anyway. Um, but instead of just simply high detail, I mean, basically the, the metal parts here is, is simple texturing. It isn't too too unusual. But when we get down to the wood elements and the cheese elements that we'll be using Lumen, the new method uh, from Unreal 5, um, we're going to add a displacement map. Uh, for the cheese here, I've added some Gaussian spots things like and scratch marks, which will be in the displacement map, which is a height map, basically which we can test in substance by uh, setting up the displacement maps, uh, setting up the displacement on the shaders. So I, I up the resolution now, add layers to it, and that's it. Um, then, uh, then add displacement to it. I use layers because that way you, you have more control over how finite you want the detail, how, how much strength you want to it. Then I bake the layers down after we've applied the displacement map and we're good to go we have wood we have cheese all working with high detail high me high detail mesh basically we then drop it back into maya as a high detail you don't really want to do much with this because it's so high detailed maya will struggle this is about four million but for me that that's enough for Maya to start struggling with it really uh drop it back into maya uh, assign the materials and then uh, export it out however you want it to be the cheese I want it separate to the wood and, and I wanted the um, I'm gonna put it in a blueprint together basically and um, and I wanted this, the meshes that can be moving definitely separate because one of them's gonna be lumen the other one's gonna be normal so this is just showing how the materials are set up I've kept the no map in there but I don't need it I can delete it whenever I want really I just wanted to use it to test it and finally this shows you the final one set up in a blueprint um, Looking quite gorgeous, really. All the high detail is actually 4 million, but it's still running at my happy 30 frames per second for my graphics card, which is a low end graphics card for Formula 5. All right, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it teaches you how to introduce high detail modeling to your texturing process um, by stepping forward, stepping back, stepping forward again, basically. Uh, through ZBrush, and there you go. And you can, you can texture away high polygon models without. Without any problems. Thank you. See you later. Bye.